This is a video on how to self-publish your ebook on the iTunes iBook Store. So I used iBooks also to create an ebook and now I would like to publish it to the iBooks Store. So you just click on the publish icon over here in the upper right corner, then click continue and then they say your book passed the pre-published check click continue to start the publish process but first you have to enable itunes connect to be able to publish so let's do that first to enable itunes connect with your apple user id you need to go to itunes connect.apple.com slash login then you log in with your apple id and password and then you can select the type of content that you would like to offer. So in this case, I'll choose books. So after you verify your email address, sign in to iTunes Connect to review and accept the iBook Store agreement and set up your account. Submit your books and updates directly to iBooks with the iTunes producer app available on iTunes Connect. You also can use iTunes Connect to access resources, other tools, contact support and manage your books. So let's get started. Let's create an iTunes Connect account for books. Okay, let's log into iTunes Connect. And then you have to agree to the terms of service. Is your name, your Apple ID, publisher type individual or organization, seller name, and then you can select I have read and agree to the terms of service presented above, and then click agree. It just says that you must select individual if you are not a registered public company. And then click continue. It seems that the computer has hanged now or there's no internet connection. The session has expired. Okay, so I have to try again. Let's click on books, get started, and then enter the Apple ID again. So it seems that it gets stuck always at the same location. When the pop-up appears, I already chose individual, so it should be correct. And then they send a verification email. You just click on verify your email address and then it will bring you again to the iTunes Connect login page. You can log in again. And then here's the agreements, tax and banking information. To begin selling content on iBooks, you need to agree to the necessary agreements. That sounds good. After they've been accepted, you can enter your contact, banking and tax information. Agreements won't go into effect until this information has been provided. Okay, so let's look at the agreements. I would like to offer books for free and to sell the books. And then they ask for your address, your country and your phone number. So once you've filled out your address and phone number, you click on the checkbox underneath the agreement. All right, let's click agree. The following errors occurred. The address entered appears to be invalid. What makes the, them think that the address is invalid? The address entered. All right, so it seems Indonesia is an uh, invalid address, state or region. Mm. All right, so it seems uh, Indonesia is just not working for anything online. So let's try a different country. The address entered has been modified. Please verify changes and resubmit. So now contracts is in process. Once you complete setup and the effective date has been reached, the contract will be moved to the contracts in effect section. The book contract you agreed to on iTunes Connect is attached for your records. 
To submit books and receive payments for your books offered on ebooks, you must set up the contact tax and banking information in agreements tax and banking in iTunes Connect. All right, let's do that. Let's set up the contact info. Let's set up the bank info at bank, bank country, and then click next. Bank code. Bank code is the swift code i believe then click next or you can just click look up bank code oh no bank code is not the swift code it's a number no wonder it didn't work okay so bank code is a number over here and then i need to enter the bank account number confirm confirm bank account number so you have to enter it twice and then account holder name must be exactly like it appears on your bank account if not your future payment won't be accepted so make sure that your name is exactly like on your bank statements and then the account holder type individual or corporation and then the bank account currency and then you can click next and then you have to enter in case it's in europe it's you have to enter the iban number which is a standard bank account number format which has been introduced all over europe and then you have to confirm the same iban number and then click next the bank account number is the wrong length please edit the bank account information and fix the bank account number Ah, well, okay, let's try again. The bank account number is the wrong length. Okay, let's try a third time and click next. Okay, so now I entered a different bank account in uh, Indonesia and that seems to work. So let's click save and then click save again. So I'm supposed to certify below okay so i have to click the checkbox and then click save again and then i have to select the bank account which i want to for the ibooks store payments and click save now we have to fill in the tax information review the tax forms below and complete the ones applicable to your situation note that u.s tax forms are required for everyone all right let's set up the tax us form are you a u.s citizen u.s resident u.s partnership or u.s corporation no click submit do you have any u.s business activities no click submit certificate of foreign status of beneficial owner i declare that the individual named in the ebook agency distribution agreement is the beneficial owner of any payments made under such agreement so you have to fill it out date of birth month day and year okay click submit no i have to enter my capacity in which acting to certify that i'm an individual who is authorized to complete this form it, and name it says null null now, now am i supposed to individual and then please enter your job job title to certify that you are an individual who is authorized okay uh, let's see job title entrepreneur is that a job title okay let's click submit once you submit this form you will not be able to make changes via itunes connect Please make sure this information is correct before you click submit. Okay, I click submit. Okay, so all I need to do now is set up contact info. Okay, so I added the new contacts, click done. It looks like I have to fill out every contact. Okay, so financial, technical, legal and marketing and then click done and finally all of the tabs seem completed so now i can click done again and now i'm in the itunes connect window so i can click my books 
Okay, so I don't have any books. So now I need to upload uh, my book that I created in iBooks also. I mean, I didn't create it, but I put it together in iBooks also. And then I need to launch iTunes Producer. So in case you haven't downloaded yet, you need to download iTunes Producer. And once you have, you can launch it. And then you can sign in with your iTunes Connect account, I believe. But before you do that, you need to create an app-specific password, or in this case for the iTunes producer. So for that, you have to go to appleid.apple.com, go to security section, and then click on generate password. Enter a label such as iTunes producer iBooks and click create. And then you can use that password to enter the iTunes producer app. So I just entered that password and now I'm in iTunes producer. Okay, so let's uh, import a book. Wait, let's check uh, the iBooks author first. Oh, from iBooks author you also can log into iTunes Connect. So let's do that. All right, so I exported this book as an iBooks file. And let's open iTunes, let's import it into iTunes producer. Okay, so I export it to the desktop. I hope it will be there now because it seems any other place outside the desktop just disappears. It's, you cannot find it. Maybe I have to quit it and restart the iBooks auto. Then click publish again, click continue, sign into iTunes connect for the hundredth time. Oh, great, now it works. This is a new book submission, click continue. And then you can select to create a sample book and then click continue, then export. Okay, so it's finished publishing with iTunes producer. Now I can open iTunes producer, then set the price, release date, I don't know. And you can select the region, click save. Oh, you cannot select the price yet because uh, I'm not yet maybe in the system yet. But anyway, I have to fill out the details first. The author name and you choose the category. They don't have fairy tales. Okay, so I filled out everything. After filling out the details, the price, you can click on submit and then it says submit your book to the iBook store to make your book available on the iBook store submit it for review and approval so we just click submit then it says authenticating with the iTunes store so that's the process of self-publishing your ebook to the iTunes iBook store for more helpful tips like this Subscribe to the One-Eyed Monkey channel or click another video to keep watching.